In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, verses 3 through to 11. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stood down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us during this Lenten fast. In this scripture reading today, of course, we read from St. John's Gospel how the scribes and the Pharisees brought to him, Jesus in the temple, a woman who was caught in adultery in the very act of performing this sexual act. They brought her to testing because Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. They were testing Jesus. But what do you say? And, they, and he just stooped it down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear them speaking. And they continued asking him. And he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. So who among you have not sinned? Cast that first stone. And then he stood back down again and continued on. And each one of them started to think. And their conscience got the better of them. And they started to leave. Leaving just Jesus and the woman. Many people think, what did Jesus write on the ground? What was he writing? Was he just doodling or what? There have been many schools of thought of what Jesus wrote on that ground. It could have even been what sins these people had committed. We don't truly know, only God knows. But the point is, 
of all the people there present who could have condemned and thrown that first stone, Jesus could have, for he is without sin. Yes, Jesus was without sin. He could have thrown that first stone to condemn that woman. But when he stood up, he saw that the accusers had gone. Jesus then asked the woman, Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. In other words, he knew she sinned, but said, Stop, don't do it anymore. Go and sin no more. For he knew that she was sinning. We all sin, every one of us. During this Lenten season, it's a time for us to confess our sins to a priest, to ask God to forgive you, just as this woman who stood there. Shaking, she would have been, because she knew that she was caught, and the result was death by stoning. Yes, but we have a loving Father, we have a loving Judge. If we show remorse, remission of sins for our sins, we all sin. All of us do. Every one of us. There is not one human who breathes in air that does not sin. So I urge you, as we journey in the well and truly into this Lent, Make the opportunities to get to confession, to repent, to repent. God does not spurn a sorrowful heart. You must be. Yes. Yes. You must repent. And as Jesus told the woman, go and sin no more. Go to a priest, confess your sins, and then go and sin no more. Pray for the help not to sin anymore. Pray to the Holy Spirit to guide you so you won't fall into sin anymore. But sadly, we weak, weak humans will but we must be repenting for all those times that we have failed. Not to give up repenting. No, that would be wrong. We must keep going. Repenting our sins. Asking God to forgive you every day. And every day give God the glory for the opportunities he has given you. Glory to God for all things and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, Save us. Amen.